the tortoise, and the hare. Ugh, I am the fastest land animal in the whole forest. Anyone care to race me? Let's put this to a test. How? Race me. You? The rabbit couldn't help but burst out laughing. Surely this little turtle wasn't serious. When had a turtle ever beaten a rabbit okay. in a race? Like this one to my room wins. Okay. On three. One, two. You didn't say free. Sorry, Slowpoke. That's not fair. Oh no, what are you two going on about? Leave my cheated in a race. I was just kidding. If you counted to free, I could have won. Nuh-uh. I would still be faster. All right, all right. It's time for bed and time for your bedtime story. This whole race conundrum really has me thinking, and I have the perfect idea for our book tonight. What is it? It's called The Tortoise and the Hare. What's a tortoise? And what's a hare? Great question. A tortoise is a type of turtle, and a hare is in the rabbit family. Oh! This book will teach you that it isn't all about speed to win a race. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit that lived in a great big forest. All the other animals knew her to be the fastest animal, and the rabbit loved to talk about how fast she was. Ugh, I am the fastest land animal in the whole forest. Anyone care to race me? Well, I've already raced you, rabbit. And what was the outcome again? I lost. Oh, don't be so down on yourself. Stick to clucking, my dear. How about you, dear? I can be fast sometimes. Probably as not fast as you. That's true. Ready, dear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, rabbit? Do you even need to ask? I could win in my sleep. On your mark, get set. <laughs> For a while, it seemed that the little deer was winning. Until... Yes! I'm number one! Good try, dear. Thanks. None of the other animals wanted to race the rabbit and feel bad about themselves. So they were content with not racing at all and agreeing that rabbit was indeed the fastest. Along came Turtle, one of the slowest animals in the forest. It took him hours to cross the forest while it only took rabbit minutes. <gasps> Turtle, you're finally here. Oh, hi. I'm so happy you came. The rabbit keeps saying she's so fast and she wants us to race her. Race? The turtle thought to himself and came up with an idea. I will race the rabbit. Tell me you didn't say what I thought you did. You race the rabbit? Sure. But not even the fastest animals in the forest have beat her. Not even the deer. How could you do it? Don't worry. I have a plan. The turtle made its way to the rabbit who was still preparing for an upcoming race. You must be Rabbit. I've been looking for you. Oh, and why is that? I heard you're the fastest animal in the forest. Let's put this to the test. How? Race me. You? <laughs> the rabbit couldn't help but burst out laughing. Surely this little turtle wasn't serious. When had a turtle ever beaten a rabbit in a race? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is no way I heard you right. It would take you years to cross the finish line by the time I'm done. We won't know till less we try. All right, turtle, then you have your race tomorrow at first dawn. Be there or be square. And the turtle would be there in the morning for he had no intention of being a square. The turtle showed up to the race course nice and early. All the other animals in the forest came to watch for themselves and waited for the rabbit to appear. This is really brave what you're doing, turtle. I think I do okay. The rabbit came in strolling to the course later after eating <laughs> breakfast. All right, ladies and gents, can we get this race going? I wanna get back to my carrots. Whoever passes a line at the end of the forest first wins the race. Both Rabbit and Turtle agreed to the terms. On your mark, get set. Rooster blew his whistle and Rabbit was off in a flash. The Turtle, however, slowly moved into gear. Good luck. Turtle. Thank you. After running for a bit, the rabbit turned around to see if anyone was following, but no one was in sight. It seemed the turtle was as slow as she thought. Oh well, these animals will never learn. Knowing that it would be hours until the turtle made its way over, rabbit sat down and enjoyed the rest of her carrot breakfast. 
Once she finished, she turned around again and saw the turtle finally making his way up the road. But he was still very far away. It's about time. So the rabbit stood up and continued on with the race. Even though the turtle wasn't very fast, his steps were even and consistent. It was almost making him break a sweat. But even with the rabbit so close to the finish line, the turtle did not give up. Oh man, he still has so far to go. I know, how will he ever win? I guess we can't count him out yet. He said he has a plan. Maybe he has a jetpack under his shell or something. Hopefully. Before the rabbit crossed the finish line, she turned again to see where the turtle was. Not a green shell in sight. The finish line already? It's gonna take that turtle days to get to where I am. <sighs> Eating all those carrots really did make me sleepy. I could go for a little nap. And so the rabbit nestled herself into the ground and fell asleep without a care in the world. After a few hours, the turtle finally saw the finish line in sight. All the other animals were amazed. It seemed like the rabbit was still asleep and might not wake up in time. Look, dear, he's getting closer. Wow, rooster, you think my turtle win? Maybe, if he keeps at it and the rabbit keeps snoozing. Well, I'll be. He sure is. Go, turtle, go, turtle. You can do it. We believe in you. Startled from the commotion, the what? rabbit started to wake. Why is everyone? To the rabbit's amazement, not only was the turtle in sight, but the turtle had surpassed her and was very close to the finish line. Hey! Oh. <laughs> but it was too late for the rabbit because the turtle had already won the race. Great job, turtle! I can't believe it! You won! No offense, of course. That's okay, rooster. The animals hugged the turtle and congratulated him. Afterwards, the turtle made his way to the rabbit, who was too shocked for words and a little sad. I don't understand. How did you do that? I didn't win the race because I'm faster than you. I won because I was consistent and took the race seriously. The rabbit thought to herself and remembered all the times she bragged about being the fastest and the best. You're right. This race taught me a lot. Thanks, turtle. The turtle and the rabbit embraced, and the two later became the best of friends. More importantly, the rabbit never bragged about being the fastest animal again. That was a great story. The rabbit learned a big lesson. I guess turtles are not slow. Well, they are, and that's not what is important, right? What do you think is the most important? He kept going. Yeah, and didn't stop. Absolutely. Sleep well, my loves, and I'll bring you another story tomorrow. Yay! Yay! Hey, friends, check out our podcast. Lively Lewis Stories. Check out our merch at LivelyLewisShop.com. And remember, you're perfect. Just the way you are.